Have you seen footage like this? Both of these concerts and many many more were performed by one artist, Ken Carson, a name you probably heard in these past months because of his crazy songs and shows. But who is he really and how did he become who he is today? Yo guys, today we'll be discussing the new and up and coming artist Ken Carson, so let's just get right into it. Ken Carson or Kenyatta L. Frazier Jr. born on the 11th of April 2002, born and raised in Atlanta. In his early school days he was definitely a menace cause he, when he was just 10 his teacher was annoying him and he just called his teacher for help and slapped him right there on the spot. Now let's see how he said that. I slapped my teacher when I was 10. That's probably the most exciting thing I did when I was 10 years old. It was like, it was like come here I gotta tell you something. <laughs> Man, I got in trouble for that. I got crazy whooping for that. Okay, that was funny. But let's get back to our topic. As a teen, he was listening to rappers like Soldier Boy, Lil Wayne, and even Future. Ken also said in an interview that his mom would always play Future and other rappers and never R&B or other melodic music genres. Later on, XXXTentacion would also influence him, his persona, and even some of his music. When Ken was about 15 years old, he moved to the south side of Atlanta, dropped out of school and went to military school. But after some time, he got kicked out there too. He got kicked out cause he had his phone and he was texting and doing FaceTime with his girl at the time. That's also when he started considering making music for a living. He got his name, Ken Carson, for combining his nickname Ken and Barbie's boyfriend's last name Carson. The Barbie boyfriend also had influence on his first project but we'll get into that in a minute. In 2015, he met the producer TM88 and he made music with him for the next two years. 2015, Ken also signed to 808 Mafia with the help of TM88. He would begin releasing music in early 2017 on his SoundCloud. Unfortunately, a lot of songs from that time are deleted, but we still have songs like Fold, for example. My bedroom won't follow. Girl, I'm trying to fuck, take off your pants, so what's the holla? She like when I hit it from the back and make a follow. She say, Barbie, you ain't got no rest, and then I showed her. I'll tell him, move it slow. Ken also tells us why his older songs are deleted, and it's just unbelievable. What happened? Like, what happened with your SoundCloud being deleted first? Oh, my SoundCloud. Oh. I was talking to this girl, and she got mad because I started talking to this other girl. <laughs> I started talking to my girlfriend, who I talked to, and she got mad and deleted my shit. Yeah, who would have believed that? But nevertheless, after Fold got some traction and people started discovering Ken, we quickly got the attention of Playboy Cardi, who was signing new and promising artists to his label Opium. In 2019, Ken signed to Opium and quickly after, in 2020, released his debut mixtape, Boy Barbie. On Boy Barbie, he had songs like Pink Panther or Gold Medal Blow Up, and he also had the Lil Yachty feature on Flexing. He followed that mixtape up with Teen X, which had the song Yale, that blew up on TikTok and is Ken Carson's biggest song to date. I keep your hoe upstairs. When she wanna fuck, I just tell her ring the bell. Hit her from the back, she can't do nothing but yell. And she's smart as fuck, I got this bitch straight out of yell. Yeah. All the other songs from Teen X also got plays after Yale blew up. Meanwhile, he was also working on Playboy Cardi's Whole Lotta Red, and he produced the song Benno with the help of Lil88 and Out of Townable. That song also boosted his popularity and helped him grow his fanbase a lot. 
After that, in 2021, he went crazy. Ken released a total of four projects in 2021. First, he released Lost Files, a series of mixtapes he would continue down the line. Lost Files was actually a solo mixtape, except the feature from Lil Yachty again on Stuck. And he followed that up with T-Nex Relapsed, which also has a lot of popular songs like Butterfly, High as or even Teenager Rager. Teen X Relapse is also a follow up project to Ken Carson's second project, Teen X. Soon after that, he continued his series of Lost Files albums with Lost Files 2. Teen Bean was released as the leading single to the mixtape, and it is also definitely the most known song off of the whole mixtape. And he ended the year with his debut album. The album was called Project X. Project X was released as a strictly solo album. The album as a whole wasn't that big of a hit, but one song definitely stood out, and it was Rock and Roll. Rock and Roll went viral and boosted Ken's popularity more, and the album itself did better because of that song. I wanna rock and roll, you can tell by my clothes. I get high as fuck every day. I think I see a UFO. Whoa, 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 whoa. Ken Carson started 2022 with another mixtape to his now already established series, Lost Files 3. He had a lot of songs do well in Lost Files 3, but some of the most famous ones are definitely Gang with Lil Tecca and Destroy Lonely, who is actually on the same label as Ken. Overdose and Hangfire were also pretty famous. The mixtape all in all was a pretty good introduction to his upcoming album. Then on the 8th of July 2022, X was released. Ken Carson's highly anticipated brand new album with 20 tracks peaked at number 115 on the Billboard 200. The album had two features from Destroy Lonely and one from Homicide Gang. There was a lot of songs that went viral, but songs like Freestyle 2 or MDMA and Murder Music with Destroy Lonely definitely outdid the other ones. I've been sipping way too much drink, I think I need blue kidney That's why I see a soda, I gotta post some like it Although the album didn't go number one on the Billboard 200 It was still a big push for Ken and it got his name even further out there And even though his discography is really broad There is still an upcoming album called Extended Extended is something like a deluxe album for X Something like Teen X Relapse was to Teen X there is a lot of snippets and a lot of leaked songs for Extended, but we still don't know the exact date the album is gonna drop, but all of us think it's gonna be really really soon. Lastly, Ken also talked about a collab album with all the artists signed to Opium. He said the album is in the works and that if it ever gets released, no one will know when, and they will just drop it randomly. And yeah, there we go. That was it, Ken Carson's early days, his early music career, all of his mixtapes and albums and how the future is looking like for him. Here's some advice from Ken for the end and peace. Uh, my message to the youth is, don't let nobody tell you you can't do something. Try anything and everything you want to do because life is short or long. So like, bro, <laughs> do everything you want to fucking do. Knock that shit out, bro. See if you like it. If you do, keep doing it.